Hello and welcome to the Chip Off the Old Block Toys. I'm Jeff here and just getting home from an exciting show in Kanab, Utah. That is a very small town of a little under 5,000 people and it's right on the border of Arizona and Utah. Anyway, great show, great times. Now, the video is kind of short. The reason why is there were two buildings and there were vendors and displays in both buildings. It would have taken me way too long to go around and film all that. So I just focused on ours and not only that, um, once the show opened, it was kind of loud in there, and the time I got there, it was just a few minutes before it opened. So I did have, I did have some difficulty filming it, and did have to do a little bit of editing here to get voices that were around me um, out because I had to stop filming a couple times. Anyway, uh, just our display, and I hope you guys enjoy it. We also had a great time um, outside of the show. We decided to do a very small hike, and we went to a place called the Belly of the Dragon. And as you can see, it is named appropriately because that's exactly what it looks like, including the color because it's, it's a red sandstone. And it is basically a man-made hole, cave, that was to divert water underneath Highway 89. And it was built in the 19th century. I could not find an exact date. I did some research, just couldn't find it. It said early in the 19th century. So whatever that means, uh, I, I guess anywhere from 1900 to 1925. Is that early? I don't know. Uh, anyway, um, you can see where they originally dug it to, and water erosion has had it, had it go down about another, I say about two and a half feet. Anyway, very interesting um, man-made thing, but it's great. I hope you guys enjoy that, and I hope you guys enjoy this video coming up. And if you do, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications, and leave me a comment below. Hello, and welcome to Check Out the Old Block Toys. This is Jeff here, and we are in Kanab, Utah, and. Here is some of the display here. I'll start here at the end. And this is uh, Jamie Stewart from A Wonderful Life. It's A Wonderful Life. And this is a large mosaic. It looks like it is, let's see, 32, 32, so that's 96 by 96 studs. And we've got Mickey and Minnie. Um, got a kitty cat here. And Mickey and Minnie again. We've got the club mascot, Nutter, he's a squirrel, and that was taken off of a uh, 3D printer, and I can't remember how many times, but this is supposed to be the squirrels that Lego has, but it's been blown up and magnified. And then we've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles here, the layer, and we've got here a banner for, for our lug, and there we end. Austin Powers fans will recognize the Shagor. And we've got uh, Harry and Hermione. Hogwarts here. Kleenex holder. And we've got, uh, uh, what do you call those? Coasters. And over here we have the Boutique Motel, which was last year's modular. We've got a Brickley crowdfunding um, retro bowling alley. And that last building there, that is from Back to the Future. Uh, one of our guys in the club, Rob, really likes Back to the Future and he's got a bunch of the layout there. All right, let's back this up. We got, instead of Dick's Sporting Goods, we have Brick's Sporting Goods. Um, and that is by one of our members by the name of Aaron. Um, really likes his tall buildings. And then we've got the Sanctum Sanctorium. And we've got another crowdfunding one, the Venetian Houses. We've got Marketplace, or Market Street, excuse me, second modular ever um, released. We've got the pet store, another modular. We've got a Lego store, a house, couple houses. Um, and we've got this mountain here, which the same guy that did the Back to the Future did the mountain and the road goes right through it. And uh, just in case, uh, let me show you this. This is the next show coming up in June. Well, I can't say the next show, but one of the next shows. It's gonna be Ely, Nevada. And we've got a house here. And for you Mighty Python fans, you got the killer rabbit. And yes, he's killed. Got a little bit of a park here, a couple school buses, 
expanding the street. We've got the very first modular ever, and that is the cafe corner, and it is has two extra floors. We've got an animal hospital, and in the back there is the town hall, uh, Asian restaurant, pet store, the treehouse with a playground around it. The newest modular, the uh, jazz club here. The bookstore from a couple years ago. And we've got uh, the green grocer, McDonald's. This was a Lego's idea that never made it. Pattern off a McDonald's in Korea. And you can't really see it on this side, so I'm gonna have to go in the back. We do have the diner back there and the 7-Eleven. I will capture pictures of that. We've got the Grand Lion Hotel here, which some people have asked about. No progress on it, but by the next show, I'm gonna make some progress. Got a library here. The Boutique Motel again. This one's got an extra floor in it. We've got the uh, I think it's Grand Emporium. We've got uh, 50's Diner. We've got here a some large buildings. Uh, Statue of Liberty here. Another office building. Spider-Man is on. This here. We've got the Palace Theater, another Lego store, the Parisian restaurants, the modular uh, police station there. We've got Brick Bank, a bowling alley, which I purchased the instructions online and built that. A detective's office that has two pool tables instead of one, and it's two sets instead of one. We have assembly square here. That is two sets. I am toying with the idea of buying a third and making that even taller. We'll see. Um, and then we've got the fire brigade, chilies. Uh, got the uh, instructions online. This time, I don't know what happened to the chili pepper. It disappeared. So I'm going to have to rebuild that. We've got the city corner garage, which is two of them. We've got a train station there. And then we've got some stuff here, forest area. And we've got an ice cream shop there. And around here, we've got the Disney Princess's uh, Death Star. And we've got the Front Runner, which is a Utah local thing. Crazy Eights. Wish this was going off so you guys could see it. We've got a steampunk um, train station, some trees. And last but not least, the Union Pacific Big Boy. And as promised, I've got the diner here. And the Southern Love. And that concludes the video of the show. Some script from the nut down in the description there. And also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and leave me in, turn on all notifications. Please make your two channels, stay safe out there, and catch you on the next one.